Welcome everybody. We have an interesting question. We are expected to find the square root of 18 times root 2 positive 83. Now foremost, let me just give you this illustration. Now, imagine you are asked to find the square of 3 positive root of 7 raised to the power of 2. Now what would you do? You will instantaneously apply a positive b raised to the power of 2 formula, which is a squared positive b squared positive 2ab. Now, if I were to do the same for 3 positive root 7 raised to the power of 2, this would give me 3 squared positive root of 7 raised to the power of 2, positive 2 times 3 times root of 7, which is going to be 3 squared positive 7, positive 2 times 3, 6 times root 7, which I can rewrite it as 9 added with 7, positive 6 times root 7. 9 and 7 can be taken as 16, positive 6 times root 7. So this is what we have got. Now, if in case you are asked to find the square root of 6 times root 7, positive 16, what would you do? Obviously, what you will do is, in place of 6 times root 7, positive 16, you will replace it with 3 positive root 7 raised to the power of 2. Applying the square root, this would give you modulus of 3 positive root 7, which in turn would give you 3 positive root of 7. So this is the final solution. Now from here, there are a few observations you will have to make. Now if I were to consider this 16 positive 6 times root 7. Now clearly 16 was produced by a squared positive b squared, right? So this means a squared positive b squared produced 16. That's exactly what I just showed you, right? And 2 times a b produced me 6 times root of 7, right? So from here I can write a b is equal to 3 times root 7. And naturally from here I can take a is equal to 3 and b is equal to root 7. So if I were to substitute the value of a and b, I am going to be getting 16, right? You can just do that substitution. So this would mean 3 squared positive root of 7 the whole squared is going to give me 16, right? This is going to be 7. 3 squared is 9. 9 added with 7 gives me 16. So that is something that you will have to pay attention to in solving this question. So therefore, let us move now to the simplification of this result. So we have been given root of 18 times root 2 positive 83. So clearly what I am going to do from here, this means a squared positive b squared is going to be producing me 83 and 2 times ab is going to be producing me 18 times root 2. From here, ab is equal to 9 times root 2 which can be rewritten as a is equal to 9 and b is equal to root 2. So taking this value and substituting it should get me 83. That's exactly what I'm going to show you. So substitute the value of a which is 9 raise it to the power of 2. Substitute the value of b which is root 2 raised to the power of 2. 9 nines are 81. Root of 2 squared gives me 2 and 2 added with 81 gives me 83 which is equal to right hand side. So therefore the solution set for this can be obtained as follows. So how are we going to obtain it? This was successfully produced to me by a positive b the whole square. Right? So what is my a? My a was 9 and my b was root of 2 raised to the power of 2, right? So this is going to be modulus of 9 positive root 2 because the application of square root which can be rewritten as 9 positive root 2. So this is my final solution. So on the left hand side we were asked to find the square root of 18 times root 2 positive 83 and that is what we have achieved here and that is the end of the solution.